folks i thought i'd do a video today on anti-anxiety anti-stress interactive robots i've got quite a few of these in my collection but i'm focusing on these three today because recently i've had some trouble with some sort of not sleeping, not being able to switch off and being anxious and feeling stress. And I'll tell you why, folks, in three weeks' time. There's a reason I can't tell you why now. All will be revealed in three weeks' time. It's not that interesting, but I just can't tell you about it at the minute. But I thought I'd do this video on these three particular anti-stress, anti-anxiety interactive robots because it's been these three that I have found helpful. So I've got others, I've got my Amigami Ham Hams, I've got my two Kubos, I've got my Joy for All Cat, but I found it was these three that helped over this last week and they've helped at different times. So Helping me relax when I'm awake in an eve on an evening and during the day on the weekend has been Fred here. Especially when I put him on mute, I found him very, very comforting and relaxing. And I think it's because the Meta Cat, I think, is comes the closest for me, from what I've personally experienced, of having a real cat that you're interacting with while it's on your lap or on your chest. And I found them so relaxing when I've been watching TV. It's really sort of been helpful. I found them really good as a stress relieving aid. But on the night time in bed, if I wake up, it's not Fred that I've had because Fred's touch sensors are very sensitive and even if I wouldn't find Fred that good to help me go to sleep, I don't think. And even if I did, if I went to sleep and then sort of turned over and, and touched his head or whatever by accident and made him power up and meow or wake me up, and also the fact that it's got moving head and a moving tail, it's a bit disruptive if you if you want quiet and you want to go to sleep. So when I've woken up during the night, like three o'clock in the morning, and things are going around my head and I can't sort of relax, I found the purple pretty good. So as you folks have seen my unboxing on this critter, will know the purple has a racing heartbeat so i'll use an exterior mic so that you can hear the heartbeat of the purple so when you first pick a purple up it will start the racing heartbeat and the idea is that you calm it down and the focus on calming down the purple relaxes yourself and calms down yourself because it's making you focus on something. And there's two settings. There's a first setting that slightly that starts with a slightly slower heartbeat than the second setting. So the heartbeat that you heard is the quickest racing heart. And you calm the purple down by stroking it so i'll put the exterior mic in again and let you hear how the heartbeat becomes slower when you start stroking the, the purple on its back and as well as having a heartbeat the purple also makes noises and depending on how fast his heart's racing he will make uh, agitated noises or as you move towards calming him down 
he will make more contented noises and even end up giggling. And as well as stroking his back, you can press the press button switch, press button switches in each of his ears. And as you heard there, once the purple has completely calmed down, it will eventually purr. And I really like the purr that the purple's got. I find that in itself very, very relaxing. The one thing I would say against the purple, and one thing I would I really, really wish the company would change. I really wish they'd bring out a version two and change this because I've heard other people complain about the same thing. Is there's no setting on it so that it'll go through the cycle just once and once it's calmed down, it'll power down and not wake up again. Because if you're in bed and you want to go to sleep, you might it might have really calmed you down, but you've got to when the purple goes to sleep after it's stopped purring, you've got to lift it so carefully and like put it down on the floor or on a shelf as gentle as possible because just the, the, the motion, like like the impact of, of like going on the floor like that will start it up again. It's actually started up again with its heartbeat racing again. And... I think this is a complete oversight on on the side of the company. I've read reviews by more than one person who've said they've had a child that's had a purple. They've got it for the child's anxiety and they've gone to sleep like holding the purple and it has calmed them down. But then they've moved in the sleep and they and they've started the purple up again with a racing heartbeat. And so it's it's sort of upset the child and woken them up. So I think it's complete oversight on the side of the company. They've got two settings. So instead of having two different starting points for how fast the heart's beating, why don't we have just the fastest heartbeat because it will eventually go slower. And the other setting, a setting whereby the purple will power down completely after it's gone through one cycle. And you will actually actually have to switch it back on again if you want it to start up again, rather than it just being started up by movement. And then you'd have the option of a sort of nighttime mode where it wouldn't disturb you once it started purring and then gone to sleep. I am going to be doing a future video where we try to get access to to the way to the wires for the switch which will involve cutting the material and taking the cable tie out so i'm going to do that in a future video because paul is thinking of bringing the switch out and re replacing it with a press button switch that you can put in the tail so that instead of having to take all the velcro off from underneath to get access to this switch you can just simply go like this to switch it off if i don't want it to wake me up again and just one more point before i move on to the me however this isn't what purples normally look like i could show you a photo of what they look like normally so this is what a purple looks like as you would buy one from an outlet but this purple I did a custom with polymer clay and flock. Wasn't too happy with the chin. Could have been done with being a bit smaller. But that's why he looks different. So during the day or on an evening, I've been using thread as a sort of anti-stress aid. 
and then sort of when I wake up during the night, sort of three o'clock in the morning, um, the purples help me to relax. But to have something that can sort of stay next to me in bed that can help me go to go to sleep, I can actually fall asleep with. I've been using the Meow Ever. So the Meow Ever, like the purple, doesn't have any moving parts, but it's got but it's got three touch sensors on the back, and after you've stroked it for a while, it will start purring. And I'd say out of all the models I got that purr, this is the most authentic cat purr. I think it might actually be a recording of a purr of a real cat. And if you keep your hand on the meow ever's back, it will eventually stop purring and you'll feel a heartbeat. And the heartbeat is also very relaxing. You can also heat a gel pack up and put it in the meow ever so you have heat as well as the purring or the heartbeat. So the heartbeat's on at the moment and it is very nice, very relaxing. So currently, the me, however, is the only thing that I know of that you can actually sleep with that help you to relax and help you to go to sleep and it won't disturb your sleep at all. Some people find it a bit odd that it's like a cushion and it doesn't have any legs and it doesn't have any face. But I think it's something that's really just for, for sensation. It's not something to look at and it it is really nice to help you sleep. Metacat and the Purple are both available on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description and I'd be much obliged if you use that link if you just if you decide to purchase one of these as it helps the channel. Unfortunately me however is only available in Japan it is a Japanese product and I haven't seen it outside of Japan. Sometimes I see them on eBay, but even then it's a Japanese seller. It's somebody in Japan selling one. And you're better off going to Amazon Japan if you wish to, to purchase one of these because it is much cheaper and easier to just buy one from Amazon Japan than to go on eBay to get one. So folks, that concludes this video on anti-stress, anti-anxiety robots and the ones that I have found very helpful over the last week. So that's it for this video. Still waiting for my eyelids to arrive. Hoping they'll arrive on Monday. And I will, of course, be doing an unboxing when they come. I'm very excited about getting my eye leaks. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.